In this video, I'm going to share three parks I love in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Stay tuned. So there's so many great uh, parks of all shapes and sizes in Cambridge, Massachusetts, which are well maintained by the city and enjoyed by its residents and visitors. And in this video, I wanted to share with you three that uh, I'm particularly fond of. So number three is the Elm and Hampshire Plaza. And that's a fancy name for the park at the end of our street. I've lived on Elm Street with my family since 2001. And at the corner of Elm and Hampshire is a lovely little pocket park. And it's just been very uh, inspiring uh, over the last 20 plus years to see the park get better and better and used by more and more people. Uh, and it's just a really nice green space. So back in 2001 it was sort of uh poorly lit and not terribly well maintained and um, a gathering place after dusk for people that uh made you feel a little uncomfortable sitting around and whatnot and now wow it's just this wonderful uh green space that back in 2015 um had a comprehensive uh renovation uh it features sitting areas uh, a lending library uh, a water play and climbing uh, structure uh, and grassy area and uh, mature plantings and pathway. And wow, it's the complete package. And what's really great is that people who live in the neighborhood are now using it on a regular basis. There's a group of families that uh, have a standing play date here where they gather uh, to be together and the kids to play and the parents to catch up. And it's really something to see that in action. Living on the block, I'm going by it every day, coming and going uh, to and from home. Uh, and I'm walking through it and riding by it. And it's just a real treat to have a small pocket park uh, with so many nice features and so well maintained. Uh, there's a bin in the park and I'm often uh, putting any trash I find uh, on the ground or nearby in it. And then the city's coming through and collecting. and so. And they're also maintaining the park and doing the landscaping. And so it's just getting attention and its use is wonderful. Can't say enough good things about the park at the end of Elm Street, the Elm and Hampshire Plaza. Number two on my list is Senate Park on Broadway, uh, not too far from where Broadway and Prospect Street cross. And so the cross street for the park is Norfolk Street, where Norfolk and Broadway cross. And this is just perhaps like the perfect city park ever. It's not too big and it's not too small. Now, as it happens, since late September 2021, this park is now under comprehensive renovation. So if you go by it after I make this video, you may see storm fencing as the uh, park will now be under renovation until the spring of 2023. They intend to keep a small portion open uh, during the renovation so some use of the park can be made but for the most part it's a construction site right now and what's so great about senate park is there's this large grassy field yes kids play soccer here and other activities occur but it's just an open space that people might choose to use for a gathering be it a picnic or meeting with a group of friends or throwing a frisbee um, you know, there's no rules and regulations on how you use a nice open green space and Senate Park gets ample use. Well, it did before renovation and it will after. Uh, there's a playing field, uh, there's basketball courts, um, and there's a playground. And so the renovations that are underway uh, will create an extended path to form a loop around the entire park. And that'll be a very nice new feature, I think, to make kind of the park feel of a piece instead of made up of distinct parts. There's going to be a new fitness station area and they're going to um, renovate the existing basketball courts and um, they're going to, uh, you know, replant the field. Um, I'm sure it'll be fantastic. I mean, it was a great park and uh, it will just be a better one with all the work planned. In the pandemic, in particular in 2020, in year one of the pandemic, uh, I noticed how much more use people were making of the park as it was one of the few places people could go. And it was really invigorating to see uh, the role it played in the community. And uh, I'm fortunate with where I live that I can walk to this park in short order. 
and I know I'm not alone in that many people in um, Cambridge who live near Senate Park make good use of it. So hats off to the city for investing in making this special park even better. And it'll be exciting come spring of 2023 to see how Senate Park looks when it's all done up and done over. And then number one on my list is Fresh Pond Reservation. And Fresh Pond is a wonderful resource out uh, where West Cambridge meets Cambridge Highlands. And it's this wonderful uh, body of water, uh, a kettle hole lake, and around it is a 2.25 mile path. And so it's a great place to go to take a walk, which is how I like to enjoy it. Other people get out there for uh, a jog. You know, people are walking their dogs as it's uh, allowed to walk your dog off leash at Fresh Pond. And some people like to ride their bike around the pond. But however you like to enjoy it, Fresh Pond is just a fantastic green space. And I say that because in addition to the pond itself that you can walk around, um, there is Kingsley Park at the parking area adjacent to Fresh Pond, which is a very popular dog run in summertime and sledding hill after a snowstorm in winter and uh, just a very nice green space that uh, residents enjoy. Just love going to Fresh Pond. It feels like a little piece of the countryside in, in the city. And when you're on the far side uh, on your walk around Fresh Pond, you're adjacent to the, uh, the golf course, the public nine hole Tip O'Neill, Fresh Pond, Cambridge Public. And at that point in the walk, you know, you're pretty much uh, away from the sound of passing cars on Fresh Pond Parkway and you sort of just feel, uh, wow, you can hear the wind in the trees. And uh, if it's the golfing season, you can perhaps hear someone hit a shot. And other than that, it's just the birds and the bees. And it's just a nice feeling uh, to be able to get to a place so close to the heart of the city that feels like, uh, in fact, the heart of the countryside. So can't say enough good things about Fresh Pond Reservation and the path around the pond. So those are three green spaces, one small, one medium, and one large. I love them all. One's close to home, one's not too far, and one is a short drive away from me. So I take advantage of enjoying all three, as well as many other green spaces in Cambridge. Let me know your favorite green space with a comment below in the city. And as you give consideration to real estate in the city of Cambridge or neighboring Somerville, I welcome the opportunity to connect with you by text, telephone, or email. I've been a top residential real estate agent in both communities since 1999. My name is Charles Cherney. I welcome the opportunity to hear from you. Take care.